Hi, Dave Kanicki here with the Farm Equipment Editor's Blog for April 3rd, 2012. There's little doubt that the prospective plantings in Grain Stocks Report USDA issued last week continue to support the longer-term projections for rising prices for the major ag commodities. For equipment dealers, this is good news because strong commodity prices support new machinery sales. USDA expects corn plantings to reach nearly 96 million acres in 2012, the highest since 1937 and 4% higher than 2011 acreage. Soybean acres are expected to fall slightly, down about 1%, and acres planted to wheat are forecast to rise by 3% in the year ahead versus last year. Apparently, USDA doesn't see much changing in the next several years. According to the agency's Agricultural Projections to 2021 report issued in February, the long-run prices for corn, wheat, and soybeans are projected to decline in the near term as global production responds to recent high prices. Nonetheless, after these near-term price declines, long-term growth in global demand for agricultural products, the continued presence of U.S. ethanol demand for corn, and the EU Biodiesel demand for vegetable oils are expected to keep long-term prices for corn, oil seeds, and many other crops at historically high levels. While our instincts and past experiences tell us we need to plan for the eventual, inevitable decline in commodity prices in ag equipment sales, the worst case scenario, I was wondering if anyone ever plans for the best case scenario. As has been reported time and again, continued population gains are expected to boost food and feed demand for the next several decades. Some say we've clearly entered the new age of agriculture. Do you agree? I'd like to hear from you whether or not you are planning for the best case scenario during the next decade. The industry Q&A question for this issue is, USDA is projecting that strong commodity prices will continue through the next decade. Do you agree? If you do, how are you planning to take advantage of this long-term positive outlook for agriculture? Send us your comments and thoughts to dknicky at lesspub.com. Thanks for checking in, and we'll talk to you later.